Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, December 12th. Don't make any plans for the holidays. That was House Speaker John Boehner's advice to fellow members of Congress. It's a signal that an agreement on the fiscal cliff is nowhere near imminent. Boehner told fellow House Republicans this morning there were no indications of progress between himself and President Obama on that looming series of tax increases and automatic budget cuts. The latest meeting between the two was on the telephone late Tuesday, where Boehner repeated his insistence that tax cuts be extended for everyone, and Obama repeated his stance that rates must go up for the top 2% of earners. A new poll shows Americans favor a balanced combination of tax increases and budget cuts to reduce the federal deficit. The NBC News Wall Street Journal poll shows 65% of Americans wanting a compromise, even if it means Democrats would need to accept spending cuts to Social Security and Medicare, and Republicans would accept some tax increases. Just 28% said the negotiators should hold fast to their positions on the deficit, even if it means going over the fiscal cliff on January 1st. Michigan's right-to-work legislation became law yesterday, but protests by organized labor are not ending. Several locations in the state saw protesters marching silently with their mouth covered with tape and the words $1,500 less written on it. That's the amount union officials say the new law would cost each worker each year. On Tuesday, the legislature approved bills allowing both public and private sector workers to join companies without joining unions. Governor Rick Snyder signed the measure into law. And there's widespread condemnation for North Korea's latest provocation. The North Koreans successfully launched a long-range missile early this morning. The White House called it a highly provocative act that threatens regional stability. The U.S. joined the United Nations, Japan, and South Korea in condemning the launch. The North Koreans said it was designed to put a satellite into orbit. Others see it as a thinly veiled attempt to develop long-range weapons capabilities. The move is expected to lead to a new series of economic sanctions against the communist country. That's your Political News Roundup for Wednesday, December 12th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.